Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Thursday, which means it's time to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys where I take a question that one of you guys asks about your YouTube audience development and video creation efforts and anything else you guys ask me in the comments down there. And I do my best to answer it. Today, we have a question from James Chick. Hey, at Tim Schmoyer, I've been looking at transitioning to a stand-up workstation. Was wondering if you had any advice or low-cost solutions. This is an important question because a lot of us as video creators spend countless hours in front of our computers, editing videos, responding to comments, doing the social media stuff. And so it's really important that we talk about this uh, today. Here's mine. I've been using a standing desk for about two years now and I love it. This is an Ikea hack I put together. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did all this in just a second. But first of all, I'll tell you the story story of why I switched. I was one of those people that I spent like all day sitting in front of the desk and I just started feeling achy by the end of the day. Like my shoulders would be all tense and like my wrists, I'd have to keep doing like the snappy thing, you know, and it was just like getting uncomfortable after a while. And then I watched a video that I will put in the description below this video uh, about the benefits of a standing desk. And I had seen some people use a standing desk before, but I wasn't quite sure that I could make that that plunge because I was used to sitting all day. After doing a lot of reading online about how you burn 10 times more calories when you're standing versus sitting and how you your blood flows better because like I guys when I stand here and I work like I really like I'm moving around and I'm one of those fidgety type of people always like anyways I always got something in my hands and so standing is like the perfect solution to that and after the end of the first day or two of using a standing desk I realized that not only was I more alert during the day because I was kind of like moving around a little bit but I was actually like I had more energy at the end of the day to go do other things. You know, I didn't feel like so lethargic. But more importantly for me, all those aches and that my sore back and the, the tenseness in my shoulders, like all that just went away. So personally, I highly recommend standing desk. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did to build mine for super cheap. But I know some of you guys might need money to build something like this in the first place. And so if that is you and you have over a thousand subscribers, you should check out famebit.com. They are my sponsor here at Video Creators. This month, you can just go to their website and find a marketplace of lots of brands and companies who want to hire you to talk about them. I wish I had a sponsor for this one where I could talk about a standing desk with, you know, for you guys, but I don't, so maybe I will keep looking over at Famebit and one will pop up. There's a link in the description below if you want to go check them out and start making more money with your YouTube videos. I, you know, I highly recommend great people. Uh, you should definitely go check it out. So here's my full workstation, guys. You can buy a standing desk that's like motorized and will like adjust up and down for you with like a push of a button or two. And they start somewhere around like six, seven hundred dollars and go all the way up to several thousand dollars. I made this whole setup here for $114 all brand new stuff and you could probably do it cheaper but this this is what I did so this is a desk from Ikea this thing right here and Ikea has a lot of desks but the reason why I got this one is because it has adjustable legs and so I could adjust the legs to be the exact height of what I needed them to be but the legs didn't extend high enough for me you know with by themselves so I actually got these bed risers that are underneath the uh, the feet of each of the, of the legs in the desk. And that kind of puts it up, you know, a good six, eight, seven inches, I don't know, something like that. And then I fine tune the height of it by adjusting the, the length of the legs. When you, if you have a standing desk, you want your arm, your elbow to be at a completely like 90 degree angle right here. So if you just rest your arm, basically your elbow is just kind of like barely touching right here. And then when you come to the actual monitor, if you're doing a standing desk, you want your eye level to be pretty much like right at this top third of your of your screen you don't want your screen to be too high you don't want to be looking down on it you want your neck just to be able to look like straight ahead so you can just relax right so so for me to have my monitor down the desk would be too low so i bought this this little board right here this is just a shelf from Ikea for like $2. And then I got this, these, these legs for it. Um, it's actually a piece from a different part, like a kitchen part or something, <laughs> Ikea. And, but it works perfectly for just legs, just screw to the bottom of this thing, super solid and you know really strong. So that's what I have my monitor on. I just have my, my MacBook Pro underneath here and then my cinema display and everything just plugs right into that. When I bought all this at Ikea though, I actually bought this stool also thinking, you know what, it's gonna be really hard for me to transition to standing all day and so I bought this this uh, this high the stool because it'd be approximately the right height for me to to you know the, my desk doesn't adjust the height this would, I figured this would be like you know just a fallback be honest with you guys 
I've used this in the past two years that I've been doing a standing desk. I think I've used this maybe 10 times total. I do, however, use this nice handy mat. It uh, just has a little bit of cushioning for me. It's not really that necessary, but when I bought all this, you know, I thought it was gonna be way harder to switch than it really was. And so I bought all this like nice padding cushioning stuff for me. So I'm glad, you know, I got the mat. I would recommend it if you're not already standing on carpet, if you're standing on a hard floor, I would recommend getting the mat. But the transition in general, guys, is like, it's not nearly as hard as you think it is. I switched in just like one day cold turkey and I was like, why did I not do this earlier? If you guys have any questions about all this, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll be around for the next couple days down there answering your questions. And I would love for you guys also to tweet me a picture of your workstation. You've seen mine now and how I kind of organize my stuff. Just tweet me at Tim Schmoyer on Twitter. Send me a picture of what your space looks like. I would love to see what you guys are working at too. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe every Thursday we do some YouTube Q&A kind of like this uh, on Tuesday. We look at all the updates happening on YouTube. On Wednesday, we do YouTube tips. And guys, I do all of this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread. And I want to do everything I can to help you guys grow your YouTube channels and develop your audiences so that the people who need to hear what you have to say can easily and simply find you, hear what you have to say, and hopefully have their lives be changed. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.